Okay, so imagine that you have a 12-year-old daughter, right? So then you get a phone call from one of the fellow parents at the school. Hey, my daughter's having a sleepover. Can your daughter come over, right? Cool. She's you, invited. Okay. You agree. You know, you mm -hmm. want her to have a friend group. You're trying to, you know, she's 12. You know, it seems so Hey, why not? So you dropped them off at the house, along with some other girls that she knows. So it's, right. it's four girls in total, right? So now you get a text message at like 12 a.m. from your daughter saying that she's scared and that she thinks that the guy who called you to ask if your daughter could come you have to sleep over with his daughter is going to touch one of the girls Ooh. Uh oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, this is a true story, a shocking true story that is actually going viral. And it's about this guy named Michael Maiden. Now, he's a 57 year old guy, right? Now, this is how the Red story 57 year old guy, right? So he calls the parents because he set it up. Now, the reason why he called it not the mom, like usual, because apparently the mom is the Japanese. You know, she's an immigrant. She doesn't mm. speak English well. So he's like, my wife can't speak English well. Let you know, my daughter is having a sleepover. Does your daughter want to come? Mail order bride, I'm suspecting. The girls come over, right? And so they're there, and the dad makes these mango smoothies now he's forcing the girls to drink these mango smoothies one of the girls is like no i don't want to i don't right, like the what taste if she of allergic it allergic to mangoes apparently one of the girls are like he makes a new smoothie for her he's sitting there kind of forcing them to drink it you know what i'm saying Red flag. and later on that night all the girls are you know supposed to be asleep and he starts coming down and this is the text message that one of the girls sent to her mother so i'm sleeping and her dad comes down and i'm hugging one of the other girls because she was scared and he kept moving us away from each other but kept doing tests to make sure sure we weren't awake so apparently he was coming down trying to slide the girls around you know putting his finger underneath their their nose to see if they're breathing or wow. trying to see if they're awake and one of the girls was acting like she was asleep but texting her mom because she was scared so she the first girl texts her mom her mom comes over there and gets her and then it starts getting a whole lot worse so the family got there when they arrived there they thought that the dude may have been drunk because his speech was slurred and at first he didn't want to let him in but of course he had to let right, them in right. you had they my get, job. exactly they get the girl they leave and I guess they contact the other two girls' parents and they get their kids and they end up leaving too. They take them right. to a hospital to get checked out because all of them can't walk now. All of them have slurred speeds. They aren't responding correctly. Oh, and they found no. out that they've been drugged with Benzo. Okay, so fast forward and now Michael has had a warrant out for his arrest and he's now turned himself in because of what happened. But but and the parents are, I guess, you know, seeking justice because right. he drugged their daughters. Right. So that's the story and this is some of the details from it as well. A disturbing story out of Lake Oswego this morning where a father is accused of drugging three 12-year-old girls at his home during his daughter's sleepover. Fox's Bonnie Silkman is joining us now in studio after looking over court documents with a drug sleepover. According to court documents, this all happened in August of last year in Maiden's Lake Oswego home. He's accused of putting the drug benzodiazepine into those smoothies. Court documents say the girls reported feeling groggy, some of them even blacking out. The documents also say that Maiden made repeated visits to the basement where the girls were sleeping, watching them sleep, and at one point even holding his finger under one girl's nose and waving his hand in front of her face to see if she was asleep. That is creepy. That is, imagine that is being crazy. 12 and you're in the house at and a friend's sleepover. Up. You're the only one up and there's this old 57-year-old dude creeping and crawling through the basement I'm trying to see, you. bro, that's got to be the most I'm terrifying thing you. for a kid ever. That's that is freaking weird he's lucky just, that none of those parents came in guns blazing at that point you can tell what kind of neighborhood this was in exactly you can tell this would have been a whole different story luckily that they came and got them in time and they weren't he didn't do whatever he was planning on right. doing because he I'm didn't drug them for parents nothing reached out to the other parents because had they just been like oh i'm just worried about my daughter i'm gonna pick up my daughter those other two girls would have been you know still there and something could have happened exactly and then it's even more scary because if you do that to other people's kids what, what are you, you doing, doing to your, your own it's got to be because and then why would you get so brave in order to think that you would use this her mini sleep girl. sleepover to try to drop everybody like that that is you don't think all three of those girls are gonna go home feeling some type of way if you did do something they're gonna know something is wrong they're gonna <sighs> feel different in the morning like that that is craziness to me they need to check his computer they need to check his laptop Hello. check his daughter make sure that everybody's they safe they need to check her for real exactly. they need to check under the bed there's that little secret box with a key somewhere because his daughter could very well be in danger as well so exactly and it's scary that this could happen it's a good thing that the girl like you said woke up she was uh, able to stay away right. she contacted her parents because some kids may not have even realized that they were drugged 
or how scary the situation is. Right. Like, oh, they don't have this that is awareness. a red flag. Yeah, it's what Especially I'm saying. At like, 12. Exactly to even know that wait, something's wrong. He shouldn't be doing that. This is at creepy. All. Why are you in here? Like, so what? I'm glad that somebody was paying attention and got those girls help because I can't even imagine what his plan was. You know what I'm saying? If he had got the, the fact pull that it you're off. making sure that they're asleep, you drew them with the intent to make sure that and they were asleep. And watching them so like he's sitting in the corner. I want you to fall asleep so I can. Ugh. Like what is going on right now And where is his wife Doing all of this I'm telling you She's a male order bride She don't know nothing She don't She just happy to have somewhere to live She got it from the green card That's what she needs Cause when your husband Keep going down And mess with these little girls Where you are you You, you don't think like, it's weird Hey You're you the mom Go up, check on him Yeah You ain't gonna figure that out But like I said Apparently He thought that was a great idea It wasn't He's been caught And now, one I hope of those it goes for a while According to court documents Managed to stay awake She texted her mother Just before two a.m. saying, quote, mom, please pick me up and say I had a family emergency. I don't feel safe. I might not respond, but please come get That's me. Scary. Please, please pick up. Please, please. The documents also say that That's she then scary. contacted a family friend who picked her up and took her home to wake her parents. And around 3 a.m., two of the other parents of the girls went to the house to get them Documents say Maiden resisted letting those parents inside at first, telling the parents the girls were asleep. Maiden finally let the parents in, and the girls were taken home. All three girls did test positive for that drug. Maiden, That's meanwhile, crazy. pleaded not guilty yesterday. He is facing charges, including causing another person to ingest a controlled substance. And according to those court documents, he lives in Vancouver and did pay his bail. We'll keep a close eye. So he's out of jail. I all say he live in Vancouver because they know people going to go up there and try to get him. As they should. And, I mean, he needs to be underneath the jail hung by his toenails. But that's scary. Because that's disgusting. And you but thought. But that's... Like what? Yeah, How and I wonder. And, if, and I'm pretty sure if he has a good enough lawyer, he can find a way to get out of this because it's gonna be hard. To, I could say hard to prove, but you know that is a different country. Oh, I put some in mine so I can, you know. Yeah, take, maybe he got mixed in the wrong cup, or how do you know it came from us? It could have happened afterwards. With how we know the girls they ain't have their <laughs> own stash. They're <laughs> twelve. They are twelve. I, I hope none of it works, but I'm just saying with the right lawyer, I can see him making it. You Man, know what I'm saying? They better not let him off because I don't think. He should have got bail. I don't think no, he should have been allowed to have bail because now he can be around his daughter probably. Exactly. And that's even scarier. So we'll keep you updated with the story as we get more information. Right now, it seems like he's going to be facing the music and hopefully he actually does get convicted for what he did because he should.